My name is Elizabeth Ingero and I am going to be taking you through this tutorial of how to import an XML file from Pluralize into your Premiere Pro or any synced audio that you've sort of created an XML file for. I personally used Pluralize and so therefore I'll be using that instead. Let's get into it. Now I've already downsized my Premiere Pro, it's all ready to go and what I will be doing let me just bring that up for you so that you can see that. Here we go. So I've got my project here that um, I'm going to use for this tutorial. And um, all I need to do then is to go into File, Import, right here. And then you choose which file you want to bring into Premiere Pro. Now, as you can see, some of them are greyed out because they are the actual project um, that I used to sync through Pluralize. Then the XML file then has been created from those projects. Now, I labeled them so that they would all be, um, they would all match. So I know that what I need now is this one. I'm going to click on it and click Import. It's going to bring itself in and come into this box here. And you'll see that it labels itself as synced sequence and sync sequence replace audio replace because um, I asked it to create a file that has the audio replaced. So the clean audio or the cleanest audio, it should swap it out for the one of the camera for the audio for the camera. Now, this is not helpful in the sense that if it labels everything as synced sequence, then Everything you will see lots of sync sequence 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 sync oh tongue twister sync sequences in there. So what I do straight away is I will um, label this to correspond with this file here. So this is what we brought in, and I usually do this before anyway. Just click on it once until you can see that it's highlighted. Right click, copy. Once you've done that then you can just go onto this file here and just paste. So you can either right click or you can control and V. Right, so now we've got the audio replaced as well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to label that. I'm just going to release, delete the sync sequence part of it and just put audio replace. So I'm pressing Control V. Leave a space. Done. So there you have it. I've imported that into Premiere Pro. Um, what I'm going to do now, once I double click on it, it will create a new um, tab up here. Let's have a look and see what happens. So this is it right here and I'm going to double click on it on the side and it's brought the synced files here. You can't see what I can see because it's on a separate screen. Um, but let me just pull this across so that you can see that. So that's what it is showing me right now. Okay, because that's from the synced um, file that I brought in. So quite simple. Hopefully it works for you as well on how to uh, sync, bring in an XML file into Premiere Pro. We'll go into more details about what to do next in another tutorial, but I just wanted this to be sweet and sharp and it could work that, I'll just let you know how it works. So there are two ways, you can go to file, just to summarize, you can go to file and import and bring in the file there. Alternatively, you can get the actual folder open and then drag your item, hold, left click, hold, pull it across to this box here on the left hand side and drop it. And then that way it will just bring in the files. Um, it brings in the, the raw files and then also the synced files. So as you can see here, those are the files that, uh, some of those files that came with it. Hopefully that's been useful to someone out there and don't forget to like, subscribe and share and I'll create more tutorials. If you have any burning questions, then just put that in the comment section below and I hopefully will be able to get back to you on that. Thank you very much for watching. Take care for now. I'm Elizabeth Ingero. Bye bye. Subscribe to a producer's life in Uganda.